Ma 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 mini rats. I hate video games. It's something I hear a lot of old people say because obviously I spend a copious amount of time with the elderly, racking their brains for things to start segments of my mini rants with. But these are all the same people who all buy lottery tickets and scratch cards. The lottery's like a really, 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 really. Really boring video game. I'm comparing it to video games because I truly believe it fills the exact same void that video games do. People get so addicted and worked up about it because of the interactive element of it. Oh, so I can choose my very own numbers, throw money at a cashier to print them on a little sheet of paper, then wait for some machine somewhere to spew out totally random numbers with the hopes of me winning millions of space credits to make my life better and solve all my problems. All my problems. The point is, when you really look at it, it's the stupidest thing ever. Every single week, without a doubt, millions of people throw away their money. And when they win a fiver back every now and again, that somehow makes it worth it. Just look at the maths. If you buy only one lottery ticket every week of the year, at two UK space credits a pop, that's 104 UK space credits you're spending a year. Sure, you might win a couple of quid back here and there, but ultimately it's a completely pointless struggle. The chance of winning the UK lottery with all six numbers is 1 in 13 million. 983,816. That's like me going up to you randomly in the street and saying, Hey, give me all the money in your wallet. And there's a chance, a small chance, a tiny chance, a hilariously minute chance, a virtually non existent chance that I won't run off with it and never give it back. Then I run off and never give it back. My main problem is how the entire idea is built around capitalizing on hope. Become mega rich with 250k a year for 15 years! It's a double, no a single, no a triple, no a quadruple rollover today folks, so get your ticket now because that's a really big number! Play makes it possible everybody, you have to be in it to win it! That's like me saying you're never going to crash a car unless you actively choose to drive a car around. It makes no sense, I'm not in the business of dictating what people should and shouldn't spend their money on. That doesn't mean I'm not going to comment on it though. Think of all the things you could buy with that lotto money, really useful things like I hate everything t-shirts, I hate everything mugs, I hate everything stickers, I hate everything action figures, I hate everything sketchbooks, I hate everything life-size clones, I hate everything inflatable Jesus. But you get the idea, please give me your money. Mama ma 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 mini rares. I think I'd rather defecate down my own trouser leg before using any public toilet in existence. It's like they're designed to be as repulsive as physically possible. <laughs> The checklist must be something like, make sure there is virtually no light in the room. So stick one of those dank, tiny windows in the corner of the wall to cast an eerie glow and create a generally crude atmosphere. Ensure the outside looks as intimidating and hideous as possible, almost as if the entire establishment was specifically designed for serial killers to drag in unconscious bodies and butcher them into tiny bite-sized pieces for later. <laughs> Double check that all the graffiti is as offensive as possible, and instead of cleaning the floors and messes up, add to them by secreting anything you want onto the already grubby surfaces. I really feel sorry for all you ladies out there, I really do. At least blokes can just piss all over the floor and not worry about it. In fact, public toilets almost encourage it. If all the seats are down, I'm not touching a goddamn thing, I tell you what. Fuck it, why even stop at the seats? You've got to do that thing where you use your shoe or elbow for all the surface interaction. You don't want to risk some nasty ooze winding up on your bare skin. <laughs> Sorry, all these pictures and mental images are making me feel... <coughs> Quick, go to the next topic, please. <coughs> ma 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 mini rares. Being completely powerless is never fun. And what is more unstoppable than the force of the Earth itself, Mother Nature? It's not even the fact that natural disasters are so destructive, but more that there's no one anyone can blame. You are left in a position where you want to find a reason, a scapegoat for why it happened, but you can't. You get caught on a landslide, you're fucked. You get stuck in a hurricane, you're done for. A volcano erupts, better call it quits. We're at this weird point as a civilization where we just accept that there is a chance that these things might happen at any time. There are plenty of scientists and enthusiasts that spend their entire lives researching and trying to predict or prepare for them, but ultimately it is accepted that these events are going to happen. Nothing any human can do is going to stop a tsunami devastating a city. We can try to predict and prepare, but sometimes it isn't that simple. I think we forget, as well as take for granted, how crazy the Earth really is. Take a step back and really think about it. Forget the fact that natural disasters have the word disaster in it, and an endless amount of people have had their lives completely destroyed by them, but try to wrap your head around the idea that we live on a planet where it is natural for a gargantuan rotating column of air to spin violently at over 300 miles per hour and wreak havoc. With no self-aware evil motive, no malicious reason, it just happens. That's kind of the scariest and most amazing thing ever. Ma 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 mini rares.
I think it was about the right time for another Mini Rants episode, don't you? So what do you think about the lottery, public toilets and natural disasters? Did you like or dislike the video? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, all comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Oh yeah, and thanks for 30k of you subscribing, that's ridiculous. I'll see you next time, bye!